In this video, I'll discuss the Fortran programming language and demonstrate three Fortran compilers that run on the Heathkit H89 computer, SuperSoft Fortran, Nevada Fortran, and Microsoft Fortran 80. Fortran is a programming language suited to numerical computation and scientific computing. It was originally developed by IBM with a reference manual released in 1956 and the first useful compilers about two years later. Typical applications for Fortran include scientific and engineering applications such as numerical weather prediction, finite element analysis, fluid dynamics, plasma physics, and computational chemistry. It's still a popular language for high-performance computing. Early Fortran versions had different and sometimes incompatible language features. In 1966, the American National Standards Institute, ANSI, developed the first standard for Fortran. Successive versions added support for a character data type, Fortran 77, structured programming, array programming, modular programming, and generic programming, Fortran 90, parallel computing in Fortran 95, object-oriented programming, Fortran 2003, and concurrent programming in Fortran 2008. The most recent Fortran standards include Fortran 2018 and Fortran 2023. The first manual for Fortran described it as Formula Translating System. Other sources suggest the name stands for Formula Translator or Formula Translation. Early IBM computers didn't support lowercase characters, and the names of versions of the language through Fortran 77 were usually spelled in all uppercase. The official language standards for Fortran have referred to the language as Fortran with initial caps since Fortran 90. Initially, Fortran ran on expensive mainframe and mini computers, but by the late 1970s, the first compilers running on microcomputers became available. Let's take a look at three different compilers that run on the Heathkit H89 computer. SuperSoft Fortran, developed by Small System Services Inc., was a Fortran compiler that was offered for CPM. Later versions supported CPM86 and MS-DOS. On CPM, it required a Z80 processor and at least 32K of RAM. It met and exceeded the ANSI Fortran 66 standard, supporting variables of type short integer, 2 bytes, full integer, 4 bytes, real, 4 bytes, double precision, 8 bytes, complex, logical, and characters up to 32K bytes. It included many of the Watt 5 Fortran extensions, as well as some of its own language extensions, such as hexadecimal literals. It included a compiler, linker loader, math library, and some utilities. The compiler typically sold for US $250. There were additional runtime fees for distributing compiled programs if more than 100 copies were distributed per year. I was able to find the CPM version 3.2, as well as a copy of the manual. Here's an example of compiling and running a simple Hello World program on the Heathkit H89 running CPM 2.2 with the SuperSoft Fortran compiler. Four is the name of the compiler program. We pass the file name as well as the D option, which indicates to send the list file to disk rather than the list device, which is usually a printer on CPM and not present on my system. Note that the compiler is quite fast as compared to other compilers on this hardware. We then use the linker loader to generate an executable. And run it. Here's a larger demo that performs some math functions. It calculates and displays the sine, cosine, and tangent of angles from 0 to 45 degrees. This uses math functions provided by the SuperSoft math library.
Note that the tan function was not provided by the math library, so I calculated as sine divided by cos. We now link it, this time indicating to link with the math library. And finally run it. Based on the limited experience I had running it, the SuperSoft compiler is fast, generates native code, and appears to fully support the Fortran 66 standard, as well as some extensions. The cost was high for a hobbyist, but for a commercial or scientific user, it would have been well worth the expense if it allowed software to be ported from an expensive mainframe or minicomputer over to a much less expensive microcomputer. Nevada Fortran was written by Ian Kettleborough and sold by Ellis Computing. It typically sold for US $29.95. It provides a subset of Fortran 66 features. It also provides a number of extensions unique to Nevada Fortran, such as inline assembly code and access to absolute memory locations. It works with an 8080 or Z80 processor and requires at least 48K of RAM and one disk drive. I was able to find version 3.0 for CPM as well as a copy of the manual. The main Fortran 66 features missing are double precision variables, complex numbers, the equivalence statement, and the D and P format specifications. The first time you install the compiler, you need to run the config program to configure certain parameters and generate the error message file. The compiler generates assembly language code, which is then assembled by the included assembler program. While the compiler generates native machine code, you do need to execute the compiled program using the frun runtime program. Included is a library of subroutines for functions such as file IO and math functions, as well as some example programs that illustrate compiler features. Let's compile our simple hello world program. The compilation is quite fast, and as part of the compilation, it runs the assembler. We can now run it using the frun runtime program. Now let's compile and run the math demo I showed earlier under SuperSoft Fortran.
While the version of the program that I used with the SuperSoft compiler worked, I made a few changes to it for the Nevada compiler. I removed the initial carriage control characters in output format statements, as Nevada doesn't use it, and the TAN math function was available. I did see one issue with the compiler. Sometimes when a compile failed due to errors, CPM displayed a BDOS error on Q select message, and the system had to be rebooted to recover. The overall speed of compilation and execution seems similar to SuperSoft Fortran. Much like the Nevada COBOL compiler that I demonstrated in an earlier video, the main advantage of Nevada Fortran was its low cost, making it affordable even to hobbyists who wanted to learn more and experiment with the language. Its main downside was the lack of some Fortran features, most notably double precision math that might be important for some scientific applications. Heath Zenith worked with Microsoft to port their Fortran compiler, Fortran 80, to CPM and HDOS for the Heathkit H8 and H89Z89 computers. It typically sold for US $175 for the HDOS version and $195 for the CPM version. I found copies of the Heath Zenith manuals for the CPM and HDOS versions. It supported most features of ANSI Fortran 66 with some extensions such as functions to access memory and I.O. ports, hexadecimal constants, and support for random access files. The main feature lacking from Fortran 66 was support for the complex data type. As well as the compiler, it included a macro assembler, linker, and cross-reference utility. Let's run our Hello World program under the CPM version of Microsoft Fortran 80 version 3.44. First we compile it. Then link it to an executable. And now we can run it. And now the math demo run earlier. In the Microsoft Fortran 80 version of the program, carriage control is needed in output format statements, and the TAN function is not available as it's not part of the ANSI 66 standard. I also have the HDOS version 3.35 installed. It works the same as on CPM. Here are the two demo programs being compiled and run on HDOS. All files are on disk SY7.
As compared to the other Fortran compilers, the Microsoft compiler is quite fast, although the link is slow. It took about 45 seconds to link the table example, but I edited this out of the video. Microsoft's compiler was expensive, but was an almost complete implementation of ANSI 66 Fortran, generated native code, and was the only compiler that also supported the HDOS platform. In this video, I showed three different Fortran compilers for the Heathkit H89. Heathkit also offered a Fortran training course, which came with printed material and audio cassette tapes. It was recommended to have access to a Fortran compiler on a Heathkit or other computer. In future videos, I'll discuss compilers for other programming languages, including Pascal and C.